I called the claimant's attorney and a judge, and I told them, let's form a corporation and help these children. So we did that. It's very easy to do. I only have to file three sheets of paper. And I thought, man, this is going to be easy. And um, it wasn't easy. If you're going to be a valid corporation soliciting donors, you have to have the gold seal of the 501c3 corporation. We kept sending things to the Internal Revenue Service to get their approval. No petition denied, no petition denied, and on and on and on. And so weeks just dragged on and we went to the lady at the Internal Revenue Service after her telling me, it's not going to do any good for you to come up here to see me. And I was insistent. I said, I am going to be there and I'm gonna camp out, sleep on your couch. And I'm gonna be there until you approve this document and approve us for the 501c3 status. She said, well, you're wasting a trip. I said, well, ma'am, I'm not wasting a trip. I'll see you on Monday morning. And so I got up at eight o'clock one Monday morning and drove up to Atlanta. And I was the first guy, first person off the uh, elevator and to go into the reception room. I was number one. I was there and I announced to the receptionist, I told her my name and I said, I'm here for kids champs and I want to see Mrs. Jackson. And a few minutes later, Mrs. Jackson came up and she seemed to be a nice lady. And she said, hey, Mr. Clyde, I told you you wasted a trip. I said, and that lit me on fire. I mean, I was burning hot. I said, no, ma'am, I have not wasted a trip. As I told you, I was going to come and I was going to stay until you approve this. And she said, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you're forgetting something. I said, what is that? She said, I just approved your petition. Three weeks later in the governor's office in Georgia, we gave out the first two Kids Chance scholarships. And it started from there.